It was funny. Uh, we had a great time because I'm from Florida. I'm, I was born and raised around the beach and the ocean and fishing and the sun. And so for all of us, it was great. We were like, this is going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. I got to bring my wife with me, too. So that was even cooler. My my parents watched the grandchildren, and we got to go have a good time together. It actually, was a, like the first time my wife and I got to go together somewhere by ourselves since we had our children. So it was nice. But, I mean, in general, it was fun. I mean, we had a great time. Every band had a great time it was a lot of alcohol consumed and uh i hope we get to do it again next year i heard that we're probably going to get asked to do it again so we will definitely go but it's a good time for anyone anybody who likes metal it was like a nice warm cozy thing you know last three albums we took a hiatus we were we just banned for like six or seven years you know and uh, during that time i had a side band i did called catastrophic and i did some tours in america and europe with some younger bands and every time the people were like hey, oh my god they were like totally influenced by obituary and it never dawned on me until then you know because before we were just doing what we do so when we were apart from each other i heard it heard it a lot and it was really cool i mean i didn't realize what we did you know we were just having fun playing music, making heavy music, and so it was great. I love it. I think it's cool. It's like the band Pathology, they're, they love obituary big time, and so it's cool. You know, it's like, in fact, they're all like the beginning of the tour. Their guitar player Tim, he's hanging out drinking beers with us on the bus, and he's like, "Man, I can't believe I'm hanging out with you, man." And it's like we're laughing. You know, it's like that's cool, dude. We're just dudes. We're humans too, man. You're just younger. You know, <laughs> so it's cool. It's really it's. And, of course, we were hugely influenced by Celtic Frost. And I've met Tom Warrior a few times, of course. So, it's cool. In fact, we know we did the cover of Circle of the Tyrants in 1990. And, actually, I was just talking to Tom last summer at the uh, Hole in the Sky Fest in Norway. And we were hanging out. And, uh, and he was telling me, like, I, which I never heard from him. He was, like, saying that how happy he was that we what we did. Like, he, he said... Obituary brought so many fans of Celtic Frost because of the cover song we did. He's like, you don't know how much respect I have for that, you know? So that was cool. It was really cool to have a hero, like, happy that we were influenced. <laughs> you know, he was, like, excited about it, so that was nice. Roadrunner, uh, we, f we fulfilled our contract with Fro Frozen in Time. And that was our last album on the contract and from the long, from years ago, you know, the same contract. And they asked us to do another album before that album, before while we were doing Frozen. They are like, can you do two for us? And we were like, we were in a good position. We were like, well, maybe we should s shop around and see what other labels will give us, you know, because we've been on the same label since we signed in 88. First album came out in 89, obviously. So we were just, we wanted, we were free, we could be a free agent, kind of like a sports, like an athlete, you know. We're like, we're going to be a free agent, let's see what we can get. And that's what we did. And we found Candlelight, and they gave us a really good offer, and a great uh, percentage and stuff. And it was a licensing deal, too, it was even better. Because like Roadrunner, all the music I wrote with Roadrunner is, they own that till my grandchildren's grandchildren's grandchildren pass away. So I'll never see the, I never had that back as my music. And which I think is wrong, but whatever. Um, but Candlelight, like I said, we did a licensing deal with them. And actually, we're probably going to do our own our own label next album. We're going to release it ourselves, I think. We've talked to a lot of magazines jur and journalists, and uh, we've talked to some PR people. We've got a whole group of people who are going to help us try to make it happen. We can get distribution, no problem. We have a company here that we can work with and in uh, the U.S., I don't know how much we're going to focus on that because uh, CD sales are plummeting for everybody. I mean, in the U.S., the last four years in a row, every year it's dropped twenty percent for every for in, as a whole uh, average in America. So it's like 
if you sold 100,000 records five years ago, this year you sold 20,000. You know what I mean? So it's bad. It's, it's, I mean, you can go to like the commercial record store, like Best Buy. There's a company called Best Buy. They sell electronics and stuff, and they used to have a huge music section. I mean, massive area. And now it's like this little tiny thing. It's a 10% of what it used to be. So basically the future of CD sales are just almost gone, you know. But we're still going to press it and sell it, sell through the Internet, of course. And uh, I think iTunes and Rhapsody, companies like this, are the, probably the future of music. I wanted to do strictly, like do a deal with iTunes or Rhapsody, like exclusive through them only. But uh, we got some people who are like, oh, that's a little too soon maybe. Because kids, I mean, obviously kids love to have a CD. But I was just like, let's just jump jump into the future ahead of everybody. For the first one to do it, you know. But I guess I'm always think I always think this way. I always think have something ahead. Think oh, I'm gonna do this, and then like when we did the World Demise, you know, with all the sampling and weird stuff. I wanted to do that on the Incomplete, but it was hard to talk everybody into it. it. Took me one more album to work it. So maybe the next album, not this one, but the next one, we'll do exclusively iTunes or something. <laughs> I have, uh, actually have four children. I've, I'm divorced with a, a woman in uh, the U.S. And we have two children together, two boys. One's eight and one's six. And then I'm, I've, I got remarried and to a beautiful Italian woman from Sardinia. <laughs> and uh, we have two children, uh, a two-year-old and a four-year-old. So, yeah, I have four kids, three boys and a girl. Uh, I'm getting gray hair, so I, I'm, I'm happy, but it's stressful sometimes. <laughs> you know, because... With the music industry, you're not always working 100 all the time. So, I try, I do stuff in between just to supplement. I mean, I can I can get by about w with what I make, but it's it's tough, you know. So, but uh, uh, like I said, I, I do some uh, barbecue catering stuff and uh, do a little graphic design on the side to help bring a little you know, money coming in. But we eke we eke by. <laughs>